API Bridge Setup with Ami Broker. In this video, we will show you the step-by-step -step process of setting up API Bridge with Ami Broker. This video has part first integrating API Bridge using sample AFL. Second, integrating your custom AFL with API Bridge AFL. One, integrating API Bridge using sample AFL. To start. Download the setup files for API Bridge. Go to the downloaded file. Right click on the zipped folder and extract it. In the extracted folder, you will find subfolders API Bridge, ME Broker files. The folder ME Broker files contains DLLs and AFLs. Cut the folder API Bridge and place it in your C drive. Inside folder, locate the file API Bridge Launcher.exe. Right click on file, then click send to and create desktop shortcut. On your desktop, double click on the icon and log in using the credentials. After login, go to the tools, application settings, signal settings, add the broker path here. The default installation path for 32-bit ME Broker is C Program Files ME Broker. The default installation path for 64-bit ME Broker is C Program Files ME Broker. Now, open Ami Broker. It should display a message new DLL found. Important Go to Tools, Preferences, Intraday, and check Start Time of Interval. Click, click Apply. If you forget this setting, ME Broker may send repeat signals. In ME Broker, open a blank chart. Apply the sample AFL on chart which you downloaded in Setup Files. If ME Broker chart is displayed properly, it means everything is correctly installed. If the chart shows this error, it means VC++ is missing on your computer.
This is a rare problem in old Windows computers. Windows 10 has this VC++ framework installed by default. You can download VC++ from the instructions file provided. Now we go back to API Bridge and select Paper Trading Mode. It is always better to first practice on paper trading before placing live orders. Add one symbol in which you want to make your first trade. Input symbols should be same as AMI Broker chart symbol. Exchange symbols should be same as that you see in broker terminal. Then add other details like quantity, order type, etc. Click on start trading. If the icon on right bottom turns green, it means everything is okay. In ME Broker, click on button to place a trade. You can also use bar replay to place trades. If you have lived data feed for ME broker, it will work exactly the same it works in bar replay. Great, now let us move to the second part. Integrating your custom AFL with API Bridge AFL. We will download a common strategy from internet to demonstrate this.
apply this downloaded AFL on AMI Broker blank chart. Then click edit code. Scroll to bottom of AFL code. From the folder setup files, open single entry exit file in notepad from setup folder. Use Ctrl plus A to copy this code. And paste to the AFL editor. Save the AFL file on desktop for easy use in future. Now Apply this new AFL and close the pan with old AFL. This integration AFL has useful chart parameters to further customize your strategy. Use bar replay to see if trades are placed as per the arrows. watching this video.